Hi, I'm Marty Levinson, and welcome to the Northtown News Magazine. Hi, I'm Marty Levinson, and welcome to the Northtown News Magazine. Come on, baby, don't you want to go? Come on, baby, don't you want to go? Back to that lemon light city, sweet home Chicago. Two, two is four, 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 six. Come on, baby, now get your business face. Come on. Hi there, I'm Marty Levinson. Welcome to the Northtown News Magazine with the greatest cameraman around, Sonny Hirsch, and your host, Avi Myers. Thank you, Marty. Avi Myers here, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine, a presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. Sonny Hirsch being, of course, our entire technical crew. Thank you so much for joining us. Check us out on the web at www.ntnm.org. We're really big on community policing. Sonny Hirsch, who's the chairman of the District Advisory Committee for the 24th District, uh, runs a website called caps24.org where you can get all the pertinent police information for the neighborhood caps meetings in your neighborhood. Um, you know, it, the 24th District being basically Rogers Park, West Rogers Park, and a little bit of Edgewater for the rest of the city, dial 311. We're real big on having you meet the police in person and making face-to-face -face contact at the caps meetings. And other than that, you should regularly call the police. If you see something, if you hear something, give a call over to 911. Don't be shy. We're not real big on message boards. But you really need to have direct contact with the police. In any event, it is our pleasure to have somebody that uh, we've never had on the show before. Actually, I think you might have called in once upon a time on one of the election shows we had, but never live on the air. We're talking about the uh, president of the Cook County Board of That's Commissioners. Right. Okay, is that the official title? Or? Yes, that's right. Well, okay, thank you. We're talking about Todd Stroger. Um, a president, how are you? Oh, great. Thank you for having me. Good. You know, you've been, to give people a time frame, we usually film about three or four weeks before uh, we're on the air. Okay. So you're certainly a big name in the news. There's no question about it. Um, in terms of, now, you're definitely running for re-election. There's no question about it. <laughs> right. There's okay. no question about it. Okay, real good. And, um, of course, some of this may be settled at time, but, but you know, there was just about, you know, the, the, one of the, of course, one of the biggest issues around is, of course, about the, t the uh, county tax. So it, now you've talked about repealing part of it, and, and the commissioners want to repeal all of it. There was just a recent vote where, where 12 to 3 with two members absent um, to, uh, to, up, to, repeal, to repeal the 1% tax. And are you, are you going to veto that? Well, I'm going to talk to the commissioners, uh, see where they stand on this. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm also going to talk to the separately elected officials because uh, in the end, more than 50 percent of the budget goes to the separately elected officials. So that's the, the treasurer, the state's attorney, the clerk, the clerk of the circuit court, the uh, assessor, the board of review, recorder of deeds. Hmm, there's somebody in there I'm missing. I don't know. So the hospital? Well, the hospital is a separate entity. They, they are like about 40 percent of our budget. But uh, the and we get to do whatever we want to the hospital, mm. and they really can't put up much of a fight. But the separately elected officials uh, come before the board, and they have a different relationship with the commissioners. Well, you got uh, the state's attorney, the sheriff, the, right? the treasurer, right? Okay, I, it's okay. We don't have to break <laughs> them all, but you got a lot, right? There's actually and nine officers with eleven elected officials. Yeah, so it's a big department, and uh, and, I, and I do understand if there's a drop in funds, you know. Um, you know, Dick Devine's been was on the show, and Anita Alvarez has been on the show. All of a sudden, they're short state's attorneys. There might right. be short uh, other officers. The sheriff might be short. Um, you know, his brand of people. Police you know, officers, yes. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's not exactly like all of it goes. So, okay, you you were talking about it. There's a three hundred million dollars shortfall. Well, we we think that it'll be next year. It'll be two hundred and forty-five million. Hmm. Uh, so the year after that, it'll be. 245 million plus whatever additional cost that we'll pick up through the year, which it will probably be at least 60 million dollars, could be more. We're not sure yet. No. Yeah. So yeah, 300. So 300. Yeah, you can't be 100 percent sure about it. Correct. So um, what happens? Let's say, let's say this. Right now, if I'm not mistaken, it takes 14 votes to override. You're right. So they can't get the 14 votes. I mean, the way I the, I shouldn't say that, but the way <laughs> I see things, there's no way they can get the 14. Well, because the two people that didn't vote are pretty much your supporters. Well, you could have said that about some of the people who actually, the, part of the 12, because yeah. uh, part of that 12 
believe in, in what we're doing. Uh, mm -hmm. They believe, because in the end, public safety, which is 50% of, of our budget, and uh, health care, which is 40%, generally are the ones who are fighting because it's such a large part. So health care is the one that generally gets taken out of. Because public safety, people like, we have to have police officers, we have to have attorneys, we have to have the court system. But we can do without doctors. It doesn't affect me personally. So we can do without doctors, we can do without nurses. So what's in danger is our 12 clinics and our three hospitals. That's the real danger. And on the public safety side, what's in danger are things like the victim assistance program that uh, I believe is run through the state's attorney's office where they help victims of crimes and things. Those kind of what you kind of call social programs will be in jeopardy. Yeah, that's not necessarily a good thing. Is there any answer to this? Uh... Well, the truth of the matter is is that the, the sales tax is not as onerous as people make it out to be. It's really, it's one cent on a dollar, so it's a dollar for every hundred dollars. Uh, the way that our state runs, there's 17 categories that you can tax on. So we may tax you for buying clothes, but we don't tax you for getting a haircut. Right, that's true. <laughs> right. And by the way, and, and thanks for doing the Marty Levinson bit. And hi, Marty, how you doing? <laughs> Always a pleasure. <laughs> but uh, other states, because uh, people like to compare you to other states, mm. you know, like in other states in New York, they, they do 53 items. In uh, Texas, they do 83 items. Mm. So uh, we don't tax a lot of things. And, and we're talking about a quarter of a cent that I think we can, we can handle. That means like $100 million to the county. Uh, but we already know that we can't run our budget on the dollars that we had before. Because when I came in, we had a half a billion dollar deficit. The next year, we had a $238 million deficit. Those numbers aren't going to go away just because the commissioners say things will be better. Those numbers are, are going to be there, and we're going to have to figure out how we're going to fund our government. That's a big question, not a little question. No, it's, it's a big question. And I think sometimes what is lost is that we balanced two budgets on that sales tax, but we didn't have a, a lot of extra money. This last year we had $3 million. Out of a $3 billion budget, that's nothing. Yeah. When does all the budget stuff uh, come? I mean, when does everything get finalized on the budget? Is there a date that, that ge in general, like, for instance, the legislature usually ends the end of May. Is there a time when the county board uh, finishes up its business for the year or budget-wise? Our budget year ends in November. So the uh, first day of December starts our, our new fiscal year. So we're going to actually start talking about budget items in, in a few months. Okay, so in, in, so... Well, first of all, you've got to worry about how the money's going to be there, and then you'll have to worry about specifically what's going to, when, once you kind of, I guess, know what's going to be there. Um, you got a tough job, I'll, I'll say that for you. <laughs> That's for sure. It's not easy because we're dealing with so many other elected officials, and, you know, they're running their own office. I mean, I really can't tell the sheriff, once he gets his money, how to run his office, and I can't be there day to day, so I, I don't know exactly uh, what's going on. We have to depend on them a little bit to tell us what they can take out and what they can't. And with that, there's 17 members on the board that I have to deal with, and if we don't agree, it can be kind of tough. Yeah. Now, what kind of programs would you like to see added to? What kind of programs do you think could be subtracted? Well, you know, everything that we do, it comes from the state. The state mandates what we're supposed to do. So we really don't add programs. The only time we add anything is if we can get a grant from the federal government, and they have to pay at least 80 percent, and we, we always try to shoot for 100 percent. So there are things where, like in the suburbs, they have flooding issues. So we may try to get money that will deal with, uh, with sewers and roads and things of that nature. Now, the eco is, is the economic stimulus package, I mean, do you have bids in for stuff? Is there stuff that you're trying to do from a county standpoint to get involved in it? Or? We are getting some money from it, but counties aren't treated the same way as the city is. A lot of things we have to ask the state if they will give us some money. So we're getting about... Uh, Oh, I want to say $53 million in, in extra hospital money. Uh, I think they're, they're going to give us uh, 200 uh, for roads. But I think it's 200000 for roads. So we're really not getting a lot of that money. No, 200000 for roads don't build that's, a mile. That's really nothing, yes. So we have to go to the state and ask them, would you put us in your road program where we think these roads can be done today? And so there's a lot of begging involved in your county. I understand that in regular politicking, which uh, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's got to be rough stuff. 
Let me ask you, you were talking before, you know, and I really should have followed up on it right away, but you were talking before how, like, in New York, they TX uh, haircuts. Yes. And other services. I know that one of the elected officials, I forget exactly who, but there was, I, I read in the, was reading in one of the papers where somebody had this, and I did read his whole thing about what he wanted to change, and he was talking about taxi professional services like there was no tomorrow. Yes, uh, actually, I think it was the Illinois Retail Merchants Association is saying, don't expand the tax, don't have a, you know, bring it up another percent, just add more items like they do in other states. So you'll bring in more money because you have uh, more things that you can tax without bringing the percentage up. Yeah, they're talking about accountants, lawyers, um, all that stuff. Yeah, I would imagine that that would probably bring in revenue over and above and beyond that. But, of course, that would be the retail association because they don't want it to go on the uh, retail stuff they're paying. Exactly. And they don't want us to, am to order through Amazon or something. <laughs> that's exactly right. Yeah. So, um, boy, that's, that's definitely a balancing act. It so, is. So, um, I mean, how do you... Uh, the board itself, they meet monthly? We meet twice a month. So... Uh, just about every two weeks. Oh, you know what? I should know that because it's it's on Mondays, isn't it? No, no. It, it kind of it, we we generally try to be somewhere in the middle. Yeah. So uh, Wednesday, Tuesdays, those are generally the days. No, but we also have the Forest Preserve District, and that meets once a, a month. The reason I should actually know is one time in the suburbs they used to. Well, they, I guess they didn't run it live, but they used to actually cut us every other week to run the county board. Oh. So we had to wait to to be on another time in the suburbs. Which well, uh, now that you said that, we have our own. Uh, station uh, channel on Comcast 900. So that's why we don't cut you out anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so if channel 900 on Comcast, I can watch the uh, county board channel? Yes, you can. Very you, cool. You can see the exciting uh, things that happen at the county. I will definitely check that out. That's for sure. And by the way, you know, I keep forgetting to mention too, but uh, we're actually going to be expand we're expanding the number of our stations we're going to be on. And uh, this is actually scheduled to be the first show we're going to be also be on channel 25 in Chicago. Excellent. So, um, you know, we're very much looking forward to that, and I've been trying my best to learn Adobe Premiere uh, editing stuff because I can't use Chicago Access stuff to, uh, to edit the stuff that's going to be on a different station. So it's been a lot of fun the wrong way, but what can you do? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway, let me, um, because we're unsure of time, um, let, if people want to contact, you know, if, first of all, um, county board-wise, if people want to contact the county board or contact you, who should they contact? Well, uh, we have a, a website, cookcountygov.com, and we also have a number, 312-603-6400, and uh, you can contact my office or, or any of the separately elected officials or the commissioners through that. Okay, do you have a, well, I know it's still early in the ballgame, do you have a campaign office or a website where people can check you out? Or? Well, we have a, a website, Stroger for President. Uh, we don't have a, a campaign office yet, uh, but uh, we are putting everything together. Um, and I think once I show people our record, they'd be surprised. And when I, I go out and talk to people, they're really surprised at how much that we're responsible for and how many things that we do. People don't really know about the county. I want to thank you very much. I also want to thank Ed McElroy. He'd kill me if he didn't, as well as <laughs> yes. everybody else. And, and it was really nice of you to come today. Well, I really do appreciate me. it. Thank you. And um, stay tuned because we're going to have uh, Amy Zander talking about the Tournament of Pure softball game and uh, as well as Scott Lee Cohn. Thank you so much. Thanks, Sonny. Bye-bye.